Hi everyone, Troutflies here. This fly tying tutorial is going to feature one of my favorite caddis larva fly tying patterns. This is a heavy fly that works well as an anchor fly to a Euronymph rig or as the first fly on an indicator rig. I usually tie this in either a tan or green color, as you can see in this intro picture, and I tie the tan and green in both a shiny and muted variant. Lighting conditions will determine which variant I choose to tie on and fish that particular day. This is an extremely effective pattern because it gets down deep fast and really matches the natural as well. It can be fished year round, but it especially excels during summer when the fish are keyed in on caddis. Here in Utah, a double nymph rig with this caddis pattern and some sort of PMD nymph is really deadly June through September. I fish that combination of flies a lot. Anyway, I encourage you to tie up some of these and try them out on your local caddis walk. To start out, I've loaded up the vise with a debarbed Daiichi 1130 curved nymph hook. This one's a size 12. I've also put a 3.2 millimeter tungsten bead on. So the first step is to Take 015 lead free wire and make about eight or nine wraps around the hook. And jiggle it off. And then we want to push the wire. up into the bead of the hook. Next we take 70 denier UTC in olive green. And we want to start our thread just behind our wire and build up just a bit of a thread dam to hold the wire in place and build up a little bit of a ramp and then we can cover up our wire with the thread. Doesn't need to be completely covered since we're gonna dub over it, but just kinda lock it in. Off the thread tail and then bring our thread deep down into the bend of the hook. For our tailing material, we're going to be using Antron and Tan. I've taken about half the fibers out of the Antron rope. So we're left with about that much. Just tie it in. Deep into the bend of the hook. Snip off the excess. Next material is olive wire, small olive wire. Go ahead and tie this in all the way down to the tailing material. And then we take some olive scud backing. This is eighth inch. And I like to give my bobbin a counterclockwise spin. This will help the thread jump to your left, which makes tying in this slippery material a little easier. So kind of try and keep it centered on the hook and bring it down to your tailing material. You can then kind of pull it up and over and see if it'll lay in the middle. That looks pretty good. 
To build up our body, I'm taking SLF Prism in the Caddis Green. If you're tying the muted variation of this fly, Wapsy, Sal Scud Doving, and Olive or Watery Olive both are both excellent choices for that pattern. But since this is more of an attractor version, I'm using this SLF Prism. It's gonna, we're going to need quite a bit of it, so it's going to take a few dubbing noodles worth of material to build up this fly. Start at the back and work our way up. We want a little bit of a taper to this, so keep that in mind as you're dubbing your body. Like I said, it's going to take at least two or three dubbing noodles. So we want to take the green part of this body to about the 85% of the way up the body of the fly. I redo that. I think I want just a touch more. All right, once we get there, we take SLF Prism in Peacock. And I use this for both variations of the fly. The next step is to take our scud backing and bring it up over the back of it. You can take a thread wrap over it and then kind of get it into a position you like. I like to bring it a little bit towards me, favoring my side. And then once you wrap the wire, it'll kind of take it back over the top and center it. So once I have it in a good position, lock it in. And snip it off close. Kind of pull it tight and snip. Then take your wire and make evenly spaced wraps up the body of the fly. This will give it segmentation and kind of hold that back in place. And then lock it in. Helicopter it off. Then make a five or six turn whip finish. Not. Take some head cement. 
just put a drop on the thread wraps. This will help lock the uh, scud back in place and make the fly a little more durable. I then come in with a dubbing brush and just kind of work some of these bottom fibers out. You can also take a bodkin and go into the body and pull some fibers down. Come in with your scissors and just above the hook point. Snip off the fibers, you can kind of clean up any errant ones that get a little crazy. Then, kind of loosen up your vise, fly up, and snip off the tail. Out there. And that's your basic caddis nymph pattern. It's a good one. You can fish this year round. I really like fishing this June through October, really. If you want to see me catch fish on this fly, check out my recently uploaded Provo River video. I caught a few Euro nymphing this. But. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to like and subscribe if you like the content I'm putting out. Helps the channel out. But otherwise, stay safe out there.